While out in the canyons, you smell the distinct smell of coolant burning. You return, park your Miata in the garage, and behold, a puddle of coolant leaking out from underneath. This is the cursed water plug, a problem for many Miatas. We're going to go through that, replacing that part in this video. Here we go. Hey guys, out in the auto obsessive garage again, under the hood of a vehicle we don't need to get under the hood very often with. Uh, for that reason, the Miata is one of my favorites. We're going to be doing a water plug, or as it's known, cursed water plug replacement on the Miata today. You noticed coolant leaking, you checked all your coolant hoses. Obviously, it wasn't something that easy. Isn't that always the case? So, we're going to get in there and replace this plug. It's just a rubber cap. Um, it looks like some coolant lines, hard lines, were changed when this engine was applied to the Miata and they just simply put a rubber cap on it. This one's lasted 26 years, 116,000 miles, so uh, congratulations to that part for uh, enduring all that time. Uh, it's hard to see where it is. We're gonna get under here, I'm gonna get a light on it for you. You can see it way back under there, under the cam angle sensor area. Uh, don't mind my handy camera work here. It'll eventually pop up. Boom, there it is, that little black rubber cap back there. That's what we're going to be replacing. I do apologize, it's hard to get a good camera on there. I'm going to mess around for a little bit and then I'll get a better image. There you go. Here's that better look at the water plug cap. When you're under there, you're going to see the coolant, most of it on the transmission down around that area. Uh, clear indicator it's coming from that plug. Uh, you may or may not see that the plug is torn. Uh, you'll see it when you take it out though. All right, the first thing you're going to want to do is create some accessibility to the plug. The best way to do that is to remove any kind of plugs, any kind of wires that are dangling in the, in the way. Uh, just undo uh, these bunch of clips here. One goes to the cam angle sensor, a couple other miscellaneous plugs there. Uh, don't identify them in the photo. It's a while back I did this. Um, so just to unplug them. Uh, there are a couple 10 millimeter bolts holding down a clamp and then another 10 millimeter bolt holding down uh, a couple grounding wires. You'll have to undo these two so you can slide everything out of the way. Just go ahead and tuck those wires out of the way and you can have a clear shot at that water plug. And now we have our first real good view of the water plug. As you can see, it's pretty messy down here. That's a combination of coolant splashing out, uh, the old cam angle sensor that used to leak a ton of oil uh, in the same area. So let's go ahead and clean this up before we go ahead and replace it. Grab a can of your favorite degreaser, a toothbrush, any other cleaning rags or anything you might need, and get in there and clean it up. This area is going to be pretty open, so it's a good time to do it. Lay out your arsenal of pliers, uh, different strokes for different folks, as they say. I went with the short, regular pliers for this job. I usually wear a mechanic onesie in the garage, but it was a hot day. I was wearing a t-shirt and I just kept cutting my arm on the clutch slave cylinder bracket that's right in the engine bay. So I went ahead and wrapped a microfiber cloth around my arm. Just a little advice. With your favorite pair of pliers, go ahead and reach in there and grab that spring band clamp. It's like playing a really violent game of operation. While wrestling the spring band clamp loose, the water plug basically dissolved and disintegrated. I went ahead and removed it with another pair of pliers. Here it is besides the new water plug that's going in. As you can see, uh, it was at the end of its very long life. This is the OEM replacement water plug. Go ahead and use the OEM. These things last over 20 years, over 100,000 miles. While, why take a chance anywhere else? Go ahead, get the OEM from a Mazda dealership near you. Time to button everything back down. A little helpful advice when sliding the spring clamp on again. Go ahead and soak it with some soapy water mixture from a spray bottle. It makes it a lot easier to slide on. It's already a hard place to reach and anything that helps is uh, greatly appreciated. And here we have our new OEM water plug installed with the area all cleaned up. Time to replace that coolant that we lost during this operation. Let's go ahead and put some water wetter combination in there with a bunch of distilled water and top the system off. Go ahead and start the car now. Make sure you're checking for any coolant leaks. It's also a good time to bleed the cooling system. 
Uh, to do that on the Miata, since there isn't a leader valve for the cooling system, just go ahead and pop the radiator cap. Let it run for a little while uh, to get up to operating temp with that cap off. Uh, you can go ahead and squeeze some of the radiator hoses to get the additional bubbles out. And that's a pretty good way to go ahead and bleed the system. So let's check around for leaks. Looks good, nothing leaking out, nice and dry. Go ahead and bleed the system and you are good to go.